It has not been a good spring for Al-Qaeda. The terror network has been watching from the sidelines as democracy and freedom and generally un-Qaeda vibes have swept through the Arab world, knocking out dictators and empowering the people. And then on Sunday, US forces shot and killed Osama bin Laden, the face of the whole operation. You know the story by now. The mansion in Pakistan, the helicopters, the late night raid, the burial at sea. Al-Qaeda seems to run the risk of becoming irrelevant, and though the experts warn the network's warriors are still a threat, can anyone really name another member of Al-Qaeda? Seriously, who else is out there? It's time to meet some of the other scoundrels in the AQ team. It's Ayman al-Zawahiri, aka Dr. Z. Zawahiri is considered Osama's top lieutenant, and the most likely leader of the operation. He's a native Egyptian and a trained doctor who's considered the master strategist for the gang. He wears glasses, and his beard style is salt and pepper. Then there's Abu Yahya al-Libi, aka the Eel. Libby is a Libyan native who made his name when he escaped from a Bagram Air Base prison in 2005. He's considered a scholar and a warrior with the charisma to lead. Also, he is reported to be a poet. His beard style is short and wispy. Next is Adam Gadan, aka El Gringo. Gadan had gained notoriety as a spokesman for Al Qaeda and a particularly effective mouthpiece because of his familiarity with American culture. That's no surprise. He was born Adam Perlman in Oregon and listened to a lot of metal as a teenager. His beard style is Amish. Then there is Amwar Al Olaki, aka Lil Zuckerberg. Al Olaki was also born in the United States and studied at American universities but has ties to Yemen. He is primarily known for his use of the internet for communication. He is a regular in jihadi chat rooms and has previously had thousands of fans on Facebook. His beard style is short and manicured. Last up is Ilyas Kashmiri, aka The Pirate. The Pakistani-born militant made his name fighting in the Soviet-Afghan war in the 1980s, though he lost an eye in the conflict and wears Ray-Ban sunglasses in most extant pictures. His beard style is lush. Though America may have put a dent in the network, due to these five dangerous men, if you have a beard, you're still more likely to be singled out at the airport.